know when people deny something a little bit too hard, it probably turns out to be true. Why, oh why, oh why do I have a feeling we're getting set up for something like that? Hello everyone. I am Mecca, Mecca Random 42, and yes, I sit there on Twitter looking at things to make videos of because I care. I actually give a crap. I wanted to like this one. I've been collecting the toys. I've been actually interested in one for a change. One of these new... You know me, I'm not even a big animation person. Also, no, I'm not Geeky Sparkles, but I would have totally admired her as a kid because she probably had all the toys I didn't get. And maybe I had some of the ones she didn't get. I don't know. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, we're talking about, yes, some clownfish rumors too and uh, some responses that Kevin Smith has been saying about them, about them. Oh, just saw this quote tweeting Kevin Smith. What's Kevin Smith quote tweeting? The clownfish tweet from, I believe, last year, where actually a lot of this stuff started, where he started noticing that, yes, we know what you guys are up to. Clownfish TV, they tweet out, my understanding of Kevin Smith's He-Man series from an alleged insider, Tila is a better He-Man than Adam, and then steps aside to let her and her girlfriend take over hero duties. If true, this won't play well. From this Diego account here, uh, Kevin Smith is a clown. <laughs> He's talking about, hey, a showrunner. I really could have used these story suggestions before we locked in the scripts. However, no, He-Man does no stepping aside. Tila has no girlfriend in the show. The storyline is pretty dark and way metal. Before Revel yeah, so he he's quote tweeting this. He quote tweets his own just to correct the guy. <laughs> Wrong! Smith! Ah! Come on, focus! Smith is actually an ass clown. You know, at least he's got a good sense of humor about it. I got some theories on this. I really, really do. I just, this is kind of an update on the video I just did. So if you haven't seen that, I'll, I will definitely link that somewhere. I probably already did. It's right before this little suggested at the end to watch to the end. I usually put stingers on. They're funny. <laughs> this tweet he wrote is still 100% accurate. And Masters of the Universe. Why are you speaking about yourself in third person, Kevin? That's a little weird and creepy. And the original revelation, He-Man does no stepping aside. I'm going to come back to that one. Tila has a friend who's a girl, not a girlfriend. Story is still dark and metal. Original title was End of the Universe and I Love You. Okay. He-Man doesn't have to step aside because he's going to be in prison for what? Most of the thing? <laughs> Isn't that what's, what the plot is? Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. So this is this is one more thing that really, really feels like they're just dancing around the issue here. Are you just dancing around? That's what it feels like. So he might actually still be away. In a, but, but then again, you got Kevin Smith who really, really wants to defend this. And I get that he wants to still work in Hollywood. But at the same time, we're tired of this. We're tired of this. I was watching... You know, the Beanie Compound show. I was watching that one today, and they're talking about all this critical race stuff. And they're talking about how it's no longer theory. It is applied practice. It is the critical race applied practice. Crap! It's a bunch of crap, and we know it. And I'm stealing that, and I'm using it, and we're, we're going to continue the meme, but I'm definitely giving credit to the first place I heard it on that show tonight. When we talk about, let me pull it up. When you have somebody like the execs in charge of this, who are so part of the critical race cult, the critical race whatever, where, where they just have this massive disregard and disrespect for their original fan base. They find the original viewers as entitled. They have this, they even have it subconsciously, right? Here you, here you got a guy who's a network exec over at Netflix, basically. And here you have that Ted guy we talked about in the last video. He's a network exec over at Netflix. And he has such disgust and disrespect for the quote-unquote old white dude. They're going to probably do it anyway, even if it's subconscious. Even if there is this giant tug of war behind the scenes, which could very well be. This is just in my head. I'm just trying to fill in some pieces here. So without having any sources and without lying and blowing a bunch of smoke up your ass about how they're going to retcon something or whatever that doesn't even matter... I'm gonna 
I'm going to theorize for you that the network execs are part of this little cult, this this mindset that's still obsessed with the past. They're obsessed with Orange Man Bad and all this bullshit, right? And then you have normal people who are fanboys and really, really want to do the right thing. I think you have a combination of something like that behind the scenes because... What did I say months and months ago? I said there's probably some studio notes that's probably going to take some shots at He-Man or change some characters up, which we did see and we did prove in, in my last video here. So if Kevin Smith is really, really trying to give us the best possible He-Man story, he's allowed to and still work within the lines of Hollywood. I kind of like to know that. It just seems like he's kind of doing a little bit of double talk, a little bit of selective omitting here i don't know there's just something really really fishy i got i got my red alert going off again still i still want to like this though so maybe maybe it'll still be good i don't know but at this point there's just so much bs circling around it and if they're just using this to manipulate people like me into making a video then sure i'll take the new subscriber boost if you guys really really screw it up I am Mecca Random 42. Subscribe, share these videos. I will see you guys on the next video, live stream, or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Fun is a funny. Oh, you're fine. <laughs>